politics in this country. Honorable Speaker, as I conclude, whatever happens, NGCDF remains the only engine of development that can be noticed all over wherever we go. I want to urge my colleagues, NGCDF belongs to the people of the constituency, do not belong to the members of parliament. Members of parliament should avoid personalizing NGCDF projects. You don't have to, to fix your photo on a school bus you are bought for a school. You do not need to fix your photo on the posters or the signboards that we normally are required for purposes of the, for as a squad and the board. Honorable Speaker, we must as a people guard because the recipients of CDF have no problem with the CDF. It's only the lazy bodies, the busy bodies all over the country who think that NGCDF is a license for an MP to be re-elected. NGCDF is a poisoned chalice that is normally can either send an MP home or can retain an MP. It's not an automatic passage to the next point. But I want to urge my colleagues that wherever we are, let's talk about NGCDF because that's what can be seen all over. All those other projects are cannot even be seen. Honorable Speaker, the other day, I saw in a report somewhere, there's a certain constituency where the school is for such as dilapidated, and the only thing you can see are those ones done by NGCDF. The, the county has never built an ECD block. The county has never done anything. So we must not bastardize. We must always strengthen NGCDF. And we want to ask our colleagues in the Senate, if they have nothing important to do, if they have nothing important to debate in their, in their chamber, let, let, let not waste their time talking about NGCDF. We don't talk about the Senate Oversight Fund, which they only use to probably to eat mandazis and keep girlfriends and mistresses in their offices. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I support the report. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, I, I thank you for uh, recognizing my presence in the House. I would have passed it, but 